In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a collection. Now, collections, unlike tables in the SQL environment, do not need to be created before inserting data. So I can just use data, insert it into a collection that doesn't exist, and just by the fact that I'm inserting data, it's going to be created implicitly on its first use. Additionally, the documents that are inserted into this collection, the structure of these documents do not need to be specified. So for example, I don't need to include null or not null. I don't need to include data types such as integer, varchar, or date, or any of the other domain constraints that we specify when creating a SQL table. So as you can see here in this slide, to create a SQL table, we'd say create table, the name of the table, and then each one of the columns with their specified domain specifications. Now in MongoDB, if we wanted to create a collection separate from just inserting the documents, we can just say db.createCollection and then the name of the collection in parentheses and quotes. So for example, if I wanted to create the orders collection, I would just say db.createCollection and then in quotes have orders. I can also show all existing collections using the command show collections. So in SQL, we are able to rename tables using an alter table command and then say rename that table to the new table name. We can do this as well with collections in MongoDB. We just say db.collection, and collection here is the name of the collection that we're going to rename, dot rename collection, and then the new name of the collection in parentheses and quotes. So for example, if I wanted to rename the orders collection to just the order collection, I could do db.orders, dot rename collection, and then order. So go ahead and create a collection called people and confirm that it's been created. Then rename this collection to the person collection and confirm that it's been renamed. And then show all your existing collections. So pause this video and try this on your own and then come back to compare your answers. Welcome back. So here we are at the server. What we're going to do is create the people collection. And to do that, we say db.createCollection and then the name of the collection in quotes and parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And if we go to the collections tab, we'll now see the people collection. The next query that we're going to run is to rename this collection. So we're going to say db.people, which is the name of the collection that we're going to rename, and then rename collection, and then in quotes and parentheses, I'm going to give the new name, which is going to be person. We run this, and we see that the collection has been renamed person. Finally, we want to show the collections that we have, so we're going to just say show collections, and I run this and we see that we have a collection called person. So essentially that's the query that I'm running here to show you your current collections that you have available. 